Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. I saw three really cool videos, they were collab videos, from Jen Loves Reviews, Just Jen Makeup, and Elka, who's Ellie, and uh, she's out of New York. Uh, so anyway, they did this really cool thing where they talked about their most repurchased products. So I thought it was really fun, they didn't tag me in it or anything, but it was such a neat idea. I wanted to do my most repurchased from products that I originally found through a sampling program. So I absolutely love all three of them. Their videos are really honest opinions and really fun and you just enjoy watching them and I think you learn a lot. So if you haven't checked them out, I've got their um, links below. So here goes, my most repurchased. So the first thing, this is NARS Lip Velvet. I need to get another one again. They're normally a lot bigger. Um, and this is in a uh, new lover, not new to lover new lover and i just love this it is kind of like the cr a cross between a lipstick and a gloss so i'm always one who every time I put lipstick on somehow put some sort of gloss on top and this way i only have to have one product with me and the colors are beautiful um so ever since i got this in a sephora sample bag oh gosh a few years ago I just love this, keep buying it. And I've had to just take one lipstick with me. And it's great because you can, if you're going somewhere and you've got a teeny purse or just want to stick something in your pocket, um, especially when you've used it a lot and it's this big now, you can just take it along. So love, love, love these. Um, the second thing, oh, and I tried to find my original little sample, if I could find it, is the um, Makeup Forever HD Finish Powder. And the real size is like, you know, big. I've got two because this one is at the very, very, very end. So this is the next one that I'm about to start using. This is a really, really finely milled all mineral silica powder and it just slightly mattifies. Uh, it doesn't change the color of your makeup. So I really, really like that. The only thing I would say is if you're going to take um, pictures and be using flash or be filming, I would not have that be the last thing you put on if you're using it at all, because it does tend to give some shine. So this is like not what you wanna wear when you're taking lots of pictures of the last thing you put on before you're gonna shoot a video, if you're gonna have bright lights on you or, or anything like that. But for every day, it's fantastic. And I really feel like it makes my makeup last all day. It just really sets it. So love, love, love that. The next thing is Bye Bye Under Eye. I had a teeny sample in a new beauty test tube a while back gosh, probably a couple years ago also. And oh my God, I fell in love with this stuff. Um, I have two right now. I'm almost completely done with the first one I reordered that was the, in light. Just so you know though, light for me was really probably too light because when I got the sample, I assumed it was light because it worked so well. I'm usually, you know, light in, you know, the whole color scheme thing of, of the, uh, the concealers. But here, I'll actually show you. But the light is super, super, super fair. So, you know, if you have any pigment at all, I would tend to go. So this is the light. And I mean, you can just see it's it's so, so light. So it's able to make it work, you know, using it in winter and, you know, as a little highlight maybe. But overall, I then ended up ordering the medium. And let me show you the medium. So kind of on the scale of things as you... Uh, <laughs> As you have more pigment, you're going to want to really kind of figure out which color is best for you because they do seem to run rather light. But I love them. They're super creamy. They truly seem to last all day and they really cover up. So there's the, there's the medium. So what I like about it is that not only does it go on nice and creamy, it stays all day, it doesn't crease, but it also has... Um, some actual products to help enhance your, your under eye area. While well, it's in there, it's actually doing some work. So that's always a, an added bonus. And the only thing I would say is that I'm not sure how much I love the, uh, the way that it comes out of that tube, because when you get towards the end, you have to really, really work to get it out. So it would be nice if they somehow changed that, you know, somewhere down the line, but I'm still buying it. I love it. It's my favorite, favorite concealer. This thing on my list is this puppy. I got this actually in a new beauty test tube back when they're awesome. And it's Suki Face and it is the um, Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser. And it's a sugar scrub and it smells like freshly squeezed lemons. I mean, this is not pledge smelling. And here, you can take a look at that. Um, so I'm about to have to reorder. This is my second one I've already I've reordered. And you seriously just dig a little scoop out and just kind of get it going on your hands, you know, get it a little bit foamed up. And then you use a scrub and the sugar just, you know, does its work, but then it dissolves and it's kind of an emulsion and you can just leave it on your face for a while. So I will usually do this at the beginning of a shower and then I'll leave it on for, you know, a minute or two. So just avoid the eye area, of course. And then, um, you know, do the rest of my thing and then just rinse it off at the end when I rinse out my conditioner. Love, love, love that stuff. It's oh, 
so nice. The next thing is the NYX Butter Glosses. Now, my favorite is the Creme Brulee, and I received this, I think, in an Ipsy Glam bag, I believe, and I love this. I mean, if you ever have a lipstick color that's too dark or you don't like, I swear, throw this on top and it fixes it automatically. And these things are like $5. And then my CVS locally just had a little thing, well, maybe they did it across the country, where if you bought one, NYX product, you got another half off. So then I got some more. So I've, I've been trying all the colors and I love them all. And they have such a good feel. Seriously, I will never spend high end on lip gloss again, unless there's some amazing color or something like that, because these are wonderful. They feel good. They're not too sticky. The colors are great. So why would you ever pay more to get I mean, unless, again, unless it's a color, why would you pay more? These are the best. Love, 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 love these. The next thing that I love is this Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I have tried cleansing oils before, and in the past, I have not liked them at all. I have tried the Shoe Mura one. I've tried the Laura Mercier one. I have tried the Josie Marin one. Don't like any of those. I mean, they're okay. I haven't tried, there's some other one I tried too. I don't remember what brand, but I just was like, eh, you know, it, it didn't seem to work much better than a normal cleanser this works. This really, really, really just melts away all the makeup and all that eye makeup and the mascara, and it just helps. And then when I'm using my cleanser, I'm feeling like I'm really getting the rest off. So, you know, especially if you've put on a lot of makeup, this is a lifesaver. And this is my original one that I received, and I absolutely love it. And I truthfully do not recall what this where I got this switch sampling program, but I'm so glad I got it. Love that. Another thing that I love is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. This is fantastic. I don't use it so much myself as on my teenagers. It is the vacuum cleaner, and what it does is when you put it on the face, you just put a very thin coat. A little bit goes a long way. It just seems to just suck all that extra sebum, all the impurities out, and it says that it removes blackheads, but I've seen it work miracles on whiteheads too, on my kids. So whenever they actually really want to work on their faces, <laughs> um, luckily, you know, they don't have it too bad, but yeah, every once in a while, you know, maybe they haven't washed their faces enough or whatever, they're like, mom, and then we'll do this and, it just does a huge improvement to their skin so quickly. It's amazing. And I don't know what I did the, I don't know, a couple months ago, I had, for the first time in like a couple of years, I had a tiny little breakout. I just popped some of this on and boom, it was so much better and just helped it go away. So love this. This is a definite plus. Another item, I originally was given a small sample size from a friend, but then I did receive this twice in sampling boxes and it's the Josie Marin. 100% argan oil, and I've got the regular and the light. I received the regular in the sampling boxes, so um, I love this. I use this probably every single day. I use it before I go to bed. The light one, I sometimes use if I'm feeling really dry in the morning, just right on my skin under my makeup, and it just absorbs in. It's wonderful. It is totally 100% natural, and you know, if you have sensitive skin, I understand it's very, very good. So I absolutely love this. And I mean, I've had this bottle now, oh my God, probably a year and a half. So it goes a long way. You just use a little dropper to apply it. So you can really, and you only need probably about four or five drops on your skin. This is two, oh no, 1.7 ounces. So you get a good amount. So I think that this is a great, great way to go if you need some extra moisture on your skin. The last item is this Too Faced powder. This is the little mini, and this is the big one. And this is the Cocoa Powder Foundation. I don't use this as foundation. I use this as a powder kind of to finish off when I want to be a little bit more matte but not look dead because, um, you know, some of the mattifying powders, just they're just too matte. And this one, it has a very, very nice finish to it. I actually have it right on right now and in most of my videos. And best thing. Oh my God, it smells like cocoa powder. I mean, so top of it, when you put it on, you get this wonderful smell of chocolate all over your face. So I usually use a brush with it, but it does have the nice little foamy thing if you're on the go and want to bring it with you. So again, I couldn't speak to this as a powder foundation. My skin's too dry. I don't use powder foundations, but a little dusting I think is wonderful on top of foundation. So those are my top most repurchased from sampling programs. Would love to know if you have any favorites that you have repurchased after trying a sample. Let me know in the comments below. And if you've been enjoying the videos, please do like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your time and I hope you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are.